Welcome to Tall Sails Travel. Today, we will cover a quick view of the world's second largest cruise ship, the beautiful Symphony of the Seas, part one. So you enter into here. You have access to eating, dancing, bars, shopping. The epicenter of the boat starts right here on the promenade deck. Not forgetting about our bartenders now. Hey, we just got on the boat. Had to have one. I'm sure you will too. Cheers! Delish. It's the iconic rising bar. Don't worry, you won't get seasick. Just sit back and relax and enjoy your drinks. Miss Movie Passengers, then maybe this is the bar for you. Let the robots shake your drinks and then serve you. How cool is that? Shots and shops are all great on Symphony of the Seas. If you're looking for a t-shirt, keychain, mug, lanyard, they have it. Teddy bears, you name it, they probably have it. Awesome, some cool hats for us queens, a royal queen. Great job, guys. So, again, more merch, t-shirts, hats. You can hear the music in the background, it never stops. It's just a party time. Here's some boat pictures. Don't forget your pictures. We'll get to that much, much, much later. Maybe like part three. When I mean, they have your camera, if you decided to leave it on the plane or the whatever. As so we make our way to the staterooms, as you can see, going down the hallway, they have your suitcases in the hallway just for your use and for your preparing for your cabin and your stay for the cruise. Hope for ours is for seven days. Woo -hoo! Anyways, we make our way to the cabin. We have it decorated because it's Dave's birthday and Dylan's graduation. Ah, the stateroom bathroom. It's a little small, but it does have everything you need. Big old long shower, tall, well, shower. I'm tall, so it's not tall to me. And we have a closet with a safe. It's passcoded. Don't forget it. We had a little bon voyage little thing here. Oh, yeah, so they put stuff on your... Uh, on your bed every day, itinerary packages. You can also see it right there on the TV there. That's also your itinerary. Move along here. Ah, a closet for the missus. You know, she's gotta hang her dresses. You know, formal night and all. We'll get to that later. Nice little pictures. So we have a desk, eh, a mirror if needed. Kind of nice. There's a fridge underneath there. Small little fridge. Drinks. Maybe some leftover food. Let's head out to the balcony. Little picture of downtown Miami. Nice. Nice and secluded out there. Very nice. That beautiful Miami view from the balcony. Gorgeous. Here we are with the turn down surface with the dog sitting on our bed. The shade's so cute. Look at that beautiful compass too. That's how you know exactly what's going on for the next day. Read it is very important. Gives you all our tenor. Here we are on deck 16. Look overlooking the kids' splash park. More on that later. Enjoy the view. Look at this satisfying pool. There's at least three of them on the ship. I believe at least six jacuzzis too. If you had too many drinks, don't worry about it. Lifeguard there to help. And there's also a handicap assistant chair right there as well. Pool time, splish splash, don't take a bath. Is the water warm? Maybe, depending on when you cruise. Ah, the pool deck water slides. Three of them in total. Two are uh, very windy and spinny. The other one's kind of quicker. Lines can be kind of long. Oh, there's one of those jacuzzis that we were talking about. Well, let's not forget about the kitties now. It's a nice little splash park. Slides, got some fountains. It's got a bucket up there. It dumps water on you every now and then. It'll keep them nice and cool. Here's two wonderful jacuzzis right next to the solarium. They are so nice and warm. The bubbles are fantastic. It is a more enjoyable than a quiet storm on an evening night. Hope you get a chance to try it out. Trust me, you won't regret it. Fantastic. Splish splash. Here we go, entering the solarium. Hopefully you're age 16 and older, because that's the requirements. As you come inside here, the view in the breeze is wonderful. 
As you can see, this wonderful little bed here that you can lay down on, possibly take a nap. The sea breeze coming off right through that little opening. I just wanted to take a nap, honestly, and it would have been appropriate to do so right here and right now. Anyway, here's another jacuzzi right here. As you can see, people are already in it, enjoying it. And I believe we have one more over across the screen. Yep, there's the other. All right, so let's get on to why you're really on the cruise. The food! All right, so let's go to the Windjammer Cafe. As you can see, this is a huge buffet. It's got salad and all the fixings and trimmings. And if you don't know what it is, it's got labels for you. How convenient, huh? Now, when we were on this boat, we couldn't touch anything. I heard those rules have changed by now, but they give you your plate, and they're, they have to put it on the plate. So, play by the rules. Again, it might have changed. Here you can see some chickpeas. It's a nice little setup here. Here's the Americana portion. We got our bread pudding, all the desserts you can possibly think of, different kinds of puddings, pies. We got our burger, our burger bar, our hot dog bar. Got chicken fingers and fries for the kids. We got our carving table, which is really nice. International foods, American grill. This changes daily, by the way, so you might want to come back every day. We got some Indian, some some uh, marsala, some. They have vegan options. Here's some falafel. I think I'm saying that. Maybe not. They have ribs. They have different kinds of proteins, different kinds of vegetables. Ah, uh, yes. Ice cream. All day. Um, well, at least until Sunday. You know, ice cream, ice cream. You can finish the rest. Here we are in the main dining room. As you can see, there's a monitor right outside the entrance with the menu for the day. All this beautiful starters, main courses, and desserts. My creme below at the very top. And there's a QR code. Don't forget to scan it so that you can see what's on the menu for the day at your table. You can ask for a paper copy if you request, but that's old school. Are we kind of rolling new school technology now? Anyway, as we enter into the hallway, this gold ambience is so elegant. It's amazing when you come through here. It just makes you feel more classy and more up to scale. So main dining cuisine here, you know, escargot, shrimp, crab cakes, got some uh, onion soup, bread that never finishes, good stuff. So here we got some poached salmon, some spaghetti bolognese, and some jerk pork. It's kind of spicy. So here we got a chocolate bomb. Gotta have dessert, right? Kids seem to like it. Got Mississippi chocolate mud pie. Tasty. Ah, the creme brulee, the wife's fave. And I got an apple tart. That's pretty tasty. And welcome to optional dining. We have optional restaurants, which are located on decks 5, 8, and 14. There's seafood, sushi, Wonderland, which is a mixture of a little bit of everything. Kind of a kickoff from Alice. But here you can see inside of Chop's Grill. It is a steakhouse, kind of with the class of Morton's or Ruth's Chris Steakhouse a little bit. Hoping it had used more seasoning than just salt and pepper. Here's the outside seating for Jamie Oliver's restaurant. They make fresh pasta inside the restaurant daily. It is amazing. Definitely love Jamie Oliver. And as we go down here, here's Vintage. Vintage's is actually a wine bar. They have all different types of wines, from ages to you know fresh new bottles. Give it a try. You know. In this video at the Park Cafe. It's open till uh, yeah, sundown, and uh, it has breakfast, it has lunch, uh, just little sandwiches, cold cuts, fruit, drink, water, whatever you need. A little buffet style. It's got some fruit. There's some sandwiches. But stay tuned, because this is just the beginning. This is just part one. We got a lot more of this boat to cover. If you like it, subscribe to it. 
see you on the flip side, guys.